Creative Commons is part of something that we can think of as open culture, and we can compare open culture to closed culture. In closed culture, people make cultural things, uh, cultural artifacts such as movies, music, books, comics. They make them to make money. Um, they don't make them to share them or for the love of them. Fundamentally, it's, a, it's an economic activity. I will make this thing and I will sell it to you and you can enjoy it. Uh, you can enjoy it by yourself, but you can't sell it to other people. You can't give it away. You can't share it. You can't remix it. That's very different with what we might call open culture, uh, which is what humans have had for most of their history up until the last uh, four or five hundred years, where we started to move towards closed culture. In open culture, we say that I'm going to make this thing and I'm going to share it with you. Um, there might be certain restrictions, but you're free to do a lot of things with it. Often you're free to remix it and change it, to share it, to play it to other people, to take it apart and see how it works. And in some cases, you might be free to sell it and make money yourself. Creative Commons is an example of open culture. It's a set of rules, uh, a license, that tells you exactly what you can and can't do with something. So the owner of some work will say, I've made this, I own it, I'm the copyright holder, but I want to give you, members of the public, access to do certain things with it. I might say that you can remix it, or that you can make money from it, or that you can't change it, or you can't make money from it. I might say that you can change it, but you have to share it with other people. The fundamental aim of Creative Commons and of open culture is that we don't have to be reliant on money to access our own content and our own creativity. The aim is to form a culture that anyone can access and anyone can participate in. You can call this participatory culture. And so I'd like you to ask yourself, do you want to be part of a culture that is all about making money, where what is made is what will make money? Or do you want to be part of a culture that is freer from money, where what is made um, is more to do with people's opinions, with self-expression, with exploration, and with creativity? And of course, money making is important, but a participatory culture balances that against our own cultural needs as human beings.